Hey guys, it's Framed, and today I'm here to bring you a guide done easy on duoing the Zamorak God Wars boss. The recommended stats for this guide are 85 hit points, 70 prayer, 85 attack, 85 strength, and 85 defense, as well as having Edgar's Ruse completed. Now there are two setups that we are going to go over. The first setup is for tanking the boss, while the second is for getting the most damage on the boss. The tank setup should consist of the following. A Serpentine Helmet, or if you are on task, a Slayer Helmet imbued, a Fire Cape, a Fury, a Zamoraki and Hosta, or Abyssal Tentacle, your best mage resistant top and bottom, so in this case my best top is an Armadillo Chestplate, while my best bottom piece is a Kirill Skirt, a Crystal Shield imbued or a DFS, Barrow's Gloves, Dragon Boots, and a Berserker Ring imbued. Keep in mind that when gearing for the role of tank, you are trying to maintain the best mage defense bonus, so you do not need to follow my gear setup specifically. Just understand that you're trying to keep this number high. The attacker setup should consist of virtually the same gear. The only difference is that you should trade out the top, bottom, and shield for your best in-slot offensive items. I recommend using either the Zamorakian Hosta or Tentacle as well as the Dragon Defender alongside a Torso or Bandos Chestplate with Bandos Tacits. One thing to keep in mind when going to this boss is to bring a Zamorak item so all the minions will not attack you. Bringing the Hosta will eliminate this issue. If you do not bring a Zamorakian Hosta, then bring a Zamorak Robe Top or a Zamorak Dehyde Top. For your inventory setup as tank, you should bring 2 Super Combat Potions, 6 Seradum and Brews, 4 Super Restores, 3 to 4 Prayer Potions, 2 Trollheim Teleport Tablets, a good spec weapon, and your best food. In this clip, I bring a Dragon Halberd, but I would recommend bringing a Seradum God Sword. The more Saradum and Brews you bring, the better. So you could even bring 8 to 10 Saradum and Brews and neglect bringing the Super Combat Potions, but this would just sacrifice your chances as tank to get the kill. However, it would make your trips last longer. For the attacker, I would recommend the same setup, but with Guthans. Guthans can be used to heal your hit points, and any extra food you may have can go towards the tank. Keep in mind that if you are not using a Serpentine Helmet, then you do need to bring 2 Antidotes or Super Antipoisons. To get there, break your Trollheim teleport and then revert your remaining teleport back to a house teleport. Then, follow the path that I do on screen. Keep your prayers running at all times to take minimal damage. You will be losing all of your prayer points as is once you get to the lair. Once inside the God Wars dungeon, run north and cross the broken ice bridge and you will arrive in the Zamorak lair. Remember to have a Zamorak item equipped. Once inside the Zamorak lair, there will be 4 imps that you can kill for your kill count. You need to get a kill count of 40, so I suggest killing these imps as they are the fastest to kill and will get you kill count within 10 to 15 minutes. All you have to do is follow a simple rotation that I do on screen. You run to the northeast, then you run to the south, and then you run to the north. You pretty much just follow a triangle pattern and then kill all 4 imps and wait for them to respawn again. You should have 40 kill count in no time. When killing the boss, the tank should be praying melee the whole time. The method to killing this boss as a tank is to hit the boss once, then step underneath it until you're ready to do your next hit. This will save you on food and prayer points and make your trip last a little bit longer. As the attacker, all you need to do is pray mage and attack the boss. Your job should be relatively easy. Once the boss is killed, both the tank and the attacker should kill each minion together. If both the tank and the attacker brought Guthans, then it is recommended that you use Guthans on the minions to heal your hit points. When tanking Zamorak, it is also important to keep in mind that your hit points should be above 60 at all times. The Zamorak boss has a special move that can cut your hit points and prayer in half, so you need to always stay alert. Use a normal food combined with Cerebrew to maximize the amount of health that you can heal in one game tick. That's it for this guide. If you have any better setups or suggestions, then please let me know in the comment section below. Also, if you guys would like guides on other bosses or other things in this game, then please let me know in the comment section below. If you enjoyed the guide or if the guide helped you, then please like the video. And other than that, thank you guys for watching, and I will see you next guide slash video slash whatever. Bye!